So what is a coral? Is a coral a plant? Yeah. Mm, is a coral an animal? Yeah. You know what? You're both kind of right. So the coral itself is a little polyp. It's related to jellyfish and anemones. And it has tentacles covered with little stinging cells that it uses to reach out and grab food from the water. So I want everybody to take your hand and put it on the top of your head like this. All right, and now I want you to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your fingers. You are now a coral colony. You are now a colony full of coral polyps. Now, so that is how a coral itself, the little coral animal, reaches out and gets its food. But look at this water. Look at how crystal clear and pretty it is. Do you think there's a lot of food in this water? Yes. Yes? When it's so clear? Ah, you're right. It gets its clarity because it's really nutrient poor. There's not a lot of food floating around in it. So the corals have made up for it by forming a symbiotic relationship. Who's heard that word before, symbiotic relationship? All right, so for those of you who haven't heard that, it's when two organisms get together and they say, hey, we should help each other to survive in this harsh environment. And when I was talking about a coral being sort of a plant too, that's because its symbiotic partner is a tiny